the battle that never was. This was a PvP event that was happening at the Pricket Fort and it was quickly removed from the game. It was in the beta and just a little bit at the launch of the game. This was a PvP event in which you could choose to be with the Union or with the Confederate and one of the side is going to defend the Pricket Fort and the other one is going to attack. You would use weapons like muskets, black powder rifles, pistols, so basically black powder weapons. So you would either defend the fort or you would either attack the fort. And who's getting the most kills, which team is getting the most kills is gonna want the event and it's gonna get a better chance for better rewards. Sadly they removed this event, it's still in the game files but it's never gonna come back probably. It's just one of those PvP events that just died in Fallout 76 and never really see the light of the day. The race for presidency was another PvP event in Fallout 76 that never see the day of light. It wasn't even in the game, just in the game files. Now there's a lot of confusion about this event, but basically what the event was, you could get the possibility to be the president of Appalachia. You would need to go around the map in some spots, pick up some stuff, come back to the enclave and basically claim your reward. I don't really see where is the PvP aspect in this. I guess if multiple players are in the same zone, where you need to pick up the certain material, it would be instant PvP. I'm not sure about it because it doesn't say to be honest. Now this event would introduce a new currency in the game which you could use in an enclave vending machine to buy skins such as the presidential gas rifle which sadly was introduced in one of the seasons and probably this event it's never gonna be in the game. Other than that you could get some presidential power armor skin and other skins like that. Sounds to be pretty fun, sadly we never gonna get this event. One PvP event that we still have in the game is Monster Mash. It's instant PvP, you're not gonna lose caps, but if you have junk on you, you're gonna lose it. If you die, you're gonna drop it. Now this event, it's really simple, you just need to pick up a mask, you're gonna be the monster mash, other players are gonna hunt you down, and somebody else is gonna pick up the mask, and it's your turn to hunt down that player. You're gonna pick up candy buckets, there's gonna be full with ghouls, so it's a lot of fun this event. Why do I like so much this event? It's just because I don't lose caps and I respawn inside with basically losing nothing. And it's just so much fun, especially with people. I did do this event all the time with people on my live streams and we have a lot of fun. I'm gonna leave your link in the description with those videos so you can check them out that it's actually really fun and the second pvp event that we still have in the game it's hunter hunted this event you can activate it from your pip boy so basically this event is really simple you're gonna need four people in the same area and you're gonna need to assassinate each other basically to kill each other and the last one standing it's gonna be the winner this event is quite interesting because it's giving you the possibility 
to do full sneak attack damage on another player. If you didn't know, sneak attack damage and damage in general it's capped at 110. So the maximum damage that you can do on another player it's 110 per shot. But looks like that it's removed in this game. You can do maximum sneak attack damage on another player. So that 110 damage cap is actually removed in this event which is quite interesting. I have never done this event before but to be honest I'm quite curious to try it out. Survival mode. Survival mode was an instance PvP mode. It was exactly like adventure but with instance PvP from other players. Now this mod did have a couple of problems. The first one was that you would lose caps depending on your level. But that's the fix that. But the other big problem was that you would lose aid when you are dying and that wasn't well optimized. You would think that maybe you would lose 2-3 steam packs but no you die once and you lose like 50 steam packs. So that was quite a big problem in survival mode. It was also other problems which Bethesda just didn't bother to fix them or optimize them. You know, this mod should be still live because there is players that they do want survival back and would be quite fun to get survival back. But just optimize it, make it to be better, listen to the community, listen to the small PvP community, what they want and those server will still be alive even today. Sadly, they are not and we can't do anything about it. Nuclear Winter. Nuclear Winter is gonna be shut down in September 2021, sadly. Now this wasn't my favorite game mod, but this game mod did offer you a lot of rewards, which was really cool. Leveling up from level 0 all the way to level 100, you could claim a bunch of really cool skins for your power armor, skins for weapons, camp items. So this was a really good way to get a bunch of unique rewards. Now leveling up in Nuclear Winter was extremely hard and would take you a really really long time to get to level 100, but it's totally worth it. To get that sweet sweet hellfire paint job now all the rewards after nuclear winter is going to be shut down they're going to be introduced in the game with scorchers and colossal problem and other events like that so you can still get all those skins but you can't get the nuclear winter statues which they are symbolizing your level in nuclear winter your prestige a little bit I'm quite mad because they just introducing these rewards in the game since there is people that grind a lot in this game mode to get all those nice rewards. Sadly Nuclear Winter is the second PvP game mode that is gonna die. The problem with this game mode is that it's just taking too much time to get in a match, it's taking you like 5 minutes to get in a match. If you have a hard drive and another player have an SSD, the player with the SSD is going to load in the world much more faster than you and is going to loot everything. So there is quite a lot of problems with this game mod which they didn't bother to fix them. But this game mod have a really nice community. You can find here players that are level 300, 500 which is absolutely insane. Because after level 100 you don't get any more rewards. There's nothing that you're getting. So sadly, Nuclear Winter is going to be shut down. And this is it. This is the sad story of PvP in Fallout 76. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. What do you think about shutting down Nuclear Winter? Would you like to see back survival mode? What kind of game mode you would like to see in Fallout 76? Because, you know, an online game 
without a dedicated PvP mode, it's not really an online game. We still need some PvP, even if the community for it is really small. Thank you very much for watching, and see you guys in the next one.